According to the United Nations, in recent years, world hunger has dramatically increased, with up to 811 million people being undernourished. Now, a global challenge like this can seem overwhelming to solve, but not for Bernard Kovic, head of the Innovation Accelerator at the United Nations World Food Program. He has successfully fostered a toolkit of technologies to fight world hunger with innovation. Bernard, you're no stranger to social impact entrepreneurship. You yourself brought to market the Share the Meal app. It was extremely successful. What lessons did you learn from that that you were able to incorporate into the Accelerator program? What I learned from this was that there's so many great ideas out there, so many bright people that we must support those innovators, those startup founders that have those great ideas to create impact on the planet, not just to earn money, but also to help some of the most vulnerable people on the globe. So in your mind, what are the biggest challenges or the biggest problem in commercializing these real world practical examples to help solve the world hunger crisis? The first issue is really get it more widespread and get it known out there. It is actually possible to do this. The second thing is about inspiring people to also think about this as a valuable business opportunity. But what are some of those challenges in commercializing social impact ventures and trying to solve big world problems like uh, the hunger issue? One of the biggest challenges is that it's actually unknown that you can use technology and startups to so many people to do something of big impact. And I think this is something that I want to inspire more people to actually think about when they're starting a new startup or if they're in a business, you can also use that business skill, that startup skill to actually produce something, either a startup or a new product that can help some of the most vulnerable people across the globe rather than just a new dating app. So what is the difference between the World Food Programs Accelerator and other accelerators in the marketplace? We really look for the best ideas and startup founders across the globe that can help us end hunger or make emergency response more effective. So it's about creating that social impact, about helping people. So we define our success as helping people rather than just increasing like startup value. What are some of those successes to date that have come out of the accelerator? Can you give us some examples of technologies and companies that are in the market today? So one example that I want to mention is called Building Blocks, where we use blockchain technology so that refugees can go into stores and purchase food. And it's really an ingenious idea because it's about collaboration and so that United Nations agencies, NGOs can collaborate better. Um, and it's so simple. So people can go into a store, uh, they can actually purchase food with an iris scan. And the iris scan authenticates a blockchain transaction. And there's over $400 million that have been transferred to over 1 million people already using the system. So how does that compare to what's currently on offer for these people to gain access to food? Now, in 35% of World Food Forum's overall assistance to people, we now use cash or vouchers. And so the blockchain really makes it a lot better for us as UN agencies with NGOs to collaborate. So it's, instead of having multiple cards, they may just have that one blockchain wallet. At the same time, it's more effective, it safeguards their privacy, and it's more secure and a better service for them because you can't uh, you know, lose that access to the blockchain wallet, whereas you can lose your cash card, for instance. Are there other global problems that this accelerator program's model could be adapted and used for? Four years ago that we started a uh, first program for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on primary health care and vaccine delivery to use the very same accelerator program. By the end of last year, we've been running a total of 18 accelerator programs actually in the area of primary health care, gender equality, climate change, really different areas to see like the, this same approach of an accelerator, startup accelerator can be used for multiple problems that we face across the world. And you're also using artificial intelligence to monitor diet diversity in rural communities. How specifically does that work and why is that important? One of the specific problems that we are trying to solve is to end hunger and also to help people in need that in, are in emergencies, like in war zones or after a landslide or if there's droughts. 
one of the ways we've been historically doing this is like, you know, you send in like a field monitor, you do surveys to do this. Now, we are also by now using satellite imagery, we're using uh, phone surveys, text surveys, and we can use artificial intelligence. It's a tool that we call Hunger Map Live, where we use, for instance, like night light uh, in artificial intelligence to forecast or near cars what, how hunger is evolving in a particular area in, in countries globally. Well, it definitely sounds like you have a lot of hope. So even though these problems are mammoth problems and sound very difficult to solve, it does sound like you are hopeful that we could solve some of these problems and make a difference. However, I'm hopeful that with innovations, with startups, with technology, we can actually help some people, you know, we may still need to have other uh, solutions. It's not just one silver bullet, but these startups and these technologies, I, some of them may actually have this impact at scale. And I mean, even our own portfolio has shown this. Last year, our portfolio has impacted a total of 9 million people already. So imagine what we could achieve.